the Ontario SBOA winner. A far cry from the 23 to 1. She was winning that final. She's 2 to 1 tonight. It's post time for race 3. Here they come. They're off and trotting. Bearshan puts the hustle on Major Muscle. Major Muscle quickly off the gate. Down the center, coming away second. Selfie Hanover speed tonight from Caprice Hill. And off stride, Selfie Hanover. Filling on Zinn a jackpot early as Selfie Hanover's made a break in a bad spot. Everybody got around, including Caprice Hill, though she's wide going into the first turn to get around that breaking foe. Back in third, Celebrity Avensi. Flowers and Songs studies the speed back and forth. Fifth away at the rail, Yang gone. And we have breakers in the first turn, two of them now. Selfie Hanover made the the early mistake, ready in time, just made a bust as the field travels into the back stretch. So the opening quarter in 28th flat, Waples made the lead with Caprice Hill. He'd like her to sell. He pops the plug. She's on top by two comfortable lengths. Trotting in the pocket spot from in second, there rides along Major Muscle. Back to the rail from in third, Celebrity Avancy by two more lengths. Flowers and Songs just off the speed from in fourth. Yang gone is fifth. Field is up to the midway point chasing Caprice Hill. She gets him there in 56 and two. Trotting into the far turn and on that lead it's still Caprice Hill right there in the pocket spot second that's Major Muscle back in third Celebrity Avensi Flowers and Songs a single file fourth Yang gone fifth with three eights to go coming up to three quarters now and still on that lead it's Caprice Hill Caprice Hill on top a length and a half second at the inside that's Major Muscle gearing up outside from third Celebrity Avensi McNair lost Flowers and Songs who self-destructed when starting a rally they're at three quarters 125 and two and into the stretch now the one to track down caprice hill and she's on top by three lengths and widening out that lead for waples as he calls on her to sprint and sprinting is what she's doing here it's all caprice hill and caprice hill romps away she'll take this one by open lengths battles on for second but caprice hill was a cut above the rest in here caprice hill off three quarters in 125 and two halts the clock in 153 three fifths Caprice Hill captures the first of two Ontario Sire Stakes gold divisions for a purse of 105,000. 153 and three, the final time. I'm joined inside the winner's circle with driver Randy Waples. And uh, Randy, before we talk about tonight, what well, we're going to talk about tonight, obviously, what was the difference from last week's second place finish in the SBOA compared to tonight? She just seemed to be a bit of a different horse here this evening. Um, yeah, she, she. I just found her a little more sharper. I mean, I was. She felt really good last week, you know. And I'm not taking anything away from Dougie's Dougie's filly, you know. But she just didn't seem to be trotting home quite as strong as what she was the week before. Tonight, she was right back to being strong again. So, you know, and when they come up, you know, they can. You know what it's like. They can get a little bit sick, or they can do this, or th do that. And I think that maybe she was just feeling the effects of shipping up and that. And you know, she bounced that one week, and now she's right back on her game. So. Hope it keeps going. <laughs> she draws post seven into a shorter field here tonight. Uh, Sylvie made a break as you're leaving the gate. I guess. How did you think the race was going to unfold for you? Well, I mean, they're all really handy fillies in that race. You know, most of them anyway. So I mean, you really don't know until you go out of there. I know Mario's filly can lead quite well, and 
and I don't think he really wants to race her in front. So when I seen him getting to the front there, I just thought I'd keep coming instead of d dumping her, you know. But uh, it just worked out good, you know. She got a fairly decent drip out of it, and she didn't have to come first over, and she was very strong. She was a world class filly. What were your thoughts turning for home? She certainly seemed to be on point. Yeah, I, I, when we were turning for home, and, and I got the earplugs out of her, and she just started to trot on her own. You know, I I had a pretty good feeling then, because <laughs> last week she kind of hesitated when I took them out, and this week, as soon as I popped them out, she was gone. So that's more like her. Congratulations. Thanks, Greg. Caprice Hill, driver Randy Waples, owner Tom Hill. Trainer Tony Alanya, 153 and 3 in the first of two OSS gold splits.